it's true that um, if you're if something's really disturbing you and you then live with it day after day and you go to a you finally uh, go to your therapist and you know you, you haven't been in three weeks and um, you sit down in the chair and your therapist asks you what's going on and you start all of a sudden it's like this light bulb explodes and you start saying exactly what's been bothering you and exactly what's going on and it's all this stuff and I, I feel this way and I'm pent up and I'm I got all this anxiety and I want to scream and I'm so disappointed in myself or my friends, my loved ones uh, you know, my best friend did this to me my girlfriend or wife did that um, wife, husband you know, it's um, my significant other did this or that it's um It's common. It's common to have something really, really bother you tremendously and not be able to identify it with it, not be able to identify it or be pushing it aside and saying, no, that's not really bothering me or I think this is bothering me, but it's not why I feel like crap. I think this is bothering me, but it's not why I feel so empty. And it in fact is. And I think I do feel a tremendous amount of guilt over the documentary and my lack of understanding of its progress. And when I can't articulate what I feel it should need or, or what I want to imagine that it could have, and I can't articulate it, I can't bring it into words, and I don't know what, what the answers are, I feel like... I feel disappointed in myself, I feel limited. Like... Um, I just, I can't cut it, you know. I mean, it's not even entertaining. It's not like I slit anyone's throat or... <laughs> I don't mean like that. I mean, it's not even like dramatic or, you know, going out in a blaze of glory. It's just, it's kind of, it feels like this empty kind of, oh, I don't know. I mean, I've definitely been able to motivate myself more and more as I've gotten older. I think that's true, but some days I feel like the I don't want to is on the oh my god and the what the fucks and the you know oh I was just kidding I I didn't mean to say it that way I feel like they they're just out of control completely out of control and. Um, I think when my chemicals are out of balance, I feel that tremendously. And my sensitivity level says, oh my god, this is hell. Oh. But um, I do worry. I worry about my lack of connection um, with other people. I don't know how to say that. I have a girlfriend. I have a wonderful job that allows me free time. I get by. I worry a lot. I'm not connected with people like I would like to be. And I... I, I wish it were different. I need to make more connections, and you know, I mean, I know I can, but sometimes I feel like I'm a special cup of tea. I'm definitely not everybody's. You know, like, like I'm really an acquired taste, like Gouda or Brie. I love Brie. Dirt Brie cheese. But um, I'm sure meditating and keeping an open mind, I know it will come. I know I'm going to be positive. 
I'm going to stay upbeat, I'm going to stay inspired. I think meditating, keeping an open mind, being forthright, being happy and upbeat and taking care of myself so I can be more gregarious and outgoing. I know that'll lead to connections, real connections and happiness. I know that um, I have to maintain a excited level of, of healthy level of um, inventiveness to make those connections. <laughs>